Now you had a, a nine-year career in the NBA, close to a decade? Nine years as a player, right. You finished in the mid-60s, what, 1960? 65. Soon after, when the Bill Russell era ends, the championship, that great run kind of comes to a, an end. You're the, you're the next coach of the Celtics. Are you not after our back leaves? Well, he, he succeeded Red, and then I succeeded Russell. And, uh, you know, it was really a challenge because not only did uh, Bill Russell retire, uh, the, the greatest winner in the history of the game, but Sam Jones, who at that point was uh, the most significant player on the offensive side of the basketball, so both of them retired in the same year, and we had to rebuild the team. And I can remember, after getting the job, getting a phone call from Red Auerbach and saying to me, uh, you know, Tommy, we need a center, and I think we've got a center now that Russell's gone. I said, okay, who is it? He said, Henry Finkel. Well, that name didn't <laughs> engender much confidence in, in my mind. Yeah. Uh, because he had been a... a backup player for the teams he played on, a, a very competitive person, uh, but he was not Bill Russell. And as he once stated, I don't know why people are expecting me to be, be Bill Russell. They certainly aren't paying me like I'm Bill Russell. <laughs> now, when you came into the NBA, phenomenal career at Holy Cross, led him to an NIT title. You had an immediate impact on a, on a very good Celtics team. You were actually rookie of the year ahead of Bill Russell. Right. How about that? How about it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we were eight games in first place when Russell came back from the Olympics. And uh, uh, needless to say, Bill Russell uh, really is, is the greatest player, in my opinion, to ever played the game. But he was getting his feet wet in that first season and learning to deal with the physicality of the game, uh, the quickness of the game, all those things that most people I uh, have to learn, but uh, so I had a head start and we were solidly in place in first place by the time he showed up and that's why I won Rookie of the Year because I, I really played very well that first season. You know, I enjoy watching competitive people perfect their craft, uh, particularly in this era because they come in really, really green. Uh, they go through one year of college basketball, most of them. Uh, and what they have and what people look at is the, the raw potential of their athletic ability and perhaps some what they call a significant basketball IQ. But there are none of them that are ready to step out on the floor and totally impact the team right away like a Bill Russell did. So what I see um, happening in the game today is, is players getting the idea of wanting to be great and then becoming great players because of their dedication and their total desire to be the best. And when you watch a person grow in those with those dimensions and those goals in mind, it's really fun. Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.